every single industry is going to be affected by the cascading disruption of blockchain technology. Back in the early 90s, before the internet, we didn't have the availability to do a video like this or to even communicate. And so the internet helped us all communicate with each other, right? So if you wanted to send a letter to somebody, a message, a note to somebody who was like across the country, let's say, and you wanted to do that, it was going to cost you a lot of money to actually send that letter overseas, uh, not to mention a lot of time. And if you wanted to send that same letter to someone who was in like Japan or Africa or somewhere, or even like Florida, if you're like where I'm in, I'm in the Northeast, send the message down to Florida or California, it was, it was time and money, right? And now with the internet, the technology of the internet allows us to do that in real time, instantaneously, multiple letters, the same letter sent to all these different people, not to mention every other thing that we do. Everything that we do and, and we live within our lives has something to do with the internet, right? It's almost like you can't operate without the internet now in many respects. Um, but during that time, it was like difficult to understand, right? So businesses didn't have websites. Um, really like HTML came on and it was like a static web page. And then JavaScript came up uh, to where the regular people can actually create their own websites. And slowly but surely, every single solitary corporation, government, mom and pop store, large and small, pretty much functions on a website right and and it solved this massive need for humanity to connect with one another so social media platforms come out and you know the list goes on and on and on well what is blockchain technology blockchain technology is an upgrade of this entire internet right so right now it's like web 2 it was it was the world wide web web version 1 then web version two comes out to have all this other applications and, and, and different languages that the common person could use to start their business or create their website. Right now, it's easy to do a website with Squarespace and some other companies out there that you could just kind of plug and play and begin a website. And so it's, it's been so long in this web two space, and there are a lot of problems. There are a lot of issues with security, with data security and financial security, right? So cyber security is, is huge where every single company out there needs to pay a middleman for cyber security work, right? I was around a group of JP Morgan investors and we're talking about NFTs, we're talking about cryptocurrencies and I asked them how much they spent on cybersecurity. This was just like a local uh, private bank near where I live. And they said upwards of $600,000, I think for half the year for cybersecurity. <laughs> I mean, right. And so what is blockchain technology? Not only does blockchain technology come with new languages that make a lot of these other languages look like the rotary telephone in lots of cases or like a black and white TV. So it not only styles things that we will see on the internet differently with more depth, with better UI and UX, but it also helps us cure this communication of financial transactions that is still like it was back then where we were just passing things across Shit, sending letters across the, the continents with time and money. There's a guy at Trader Joe's, right? There's a Trader Joe's nearby. Guy works there. He's from Africa. He sends like 70% of his paycheck back home. 
for years we know this guy. Every time we go in there, he's an amazing dude. And he's like, we have a great relationship with him now. And he tells us. And it stinks because they charge him a lot, right? They charge him a lot to send that money down to his family. And so there's a middleman still right now in today's world. And so from someone like him to a larger business and a huge corporation that's sending millions of dollars across seas, it's going to cost them a lot of money, tremendous money to do that. And not only that, but take a lot of time. With blockchain technology, corporations, corporations, businesses can send billion dollars across seas with minimal fees and instantaneously. And you can actually send transactions to multiple people, multiple entities instantaneously. Not to mention everything's on a ledger. So it's like written in the blockchain so it can never be changed. It's immutable. It's unhackable in many ways, right? So that's another thing that's inherently built within the blockchain technology, this like cybersecurity stuff because of the, of the nature of the UTXO model that Satoshi came out with with Bitcoin uh, that you can understand if you read the Bitcoin white paper. Um, UTXO stands for unspent transaction output and it is different than the account-based model that we are familiar with in our traditional banking um, accounts. Okay, so there is a block and there is a Genesis block. And so the Genesis block was like the first block ever minted, ever created. Back in 2009, when Bitcoin launched or when Bitcoin uh, was turned on uh, anonymously by Satoshi Nakamoto, the first block was created. And in that block, there is a cryptocurrency. There is like data. There are several things within this block that then link the block to the next block. So with some Bitcoins and some um, information about this, the receiver, like who's like, so there's a sender and then there's like a receiver on the other side that then the transaction goes to the receiver. And if the receiver can see where this is coming from, the, you know, the, the transaction goes through and another block is created and <laughs> I'm sort of like compartmentalizing the block to block blockchain speech here because I don't want to get into a deep dive about what that is. I will break that down in future videos. Um, but basically what happens is these blocks form a chain of, of blocks. Now, an adversary in that wants to exploit a transaction, what they call double spending, what they're essentially doing is when you send a transaction, like if you're at the grocery store or anywhere, I mean, that you swipe a credit card uh, or at a gas station, wherever, or at a store, at the mall, um, and you swipe your card anywhere, there are adversaries that are trying to hack that company overall so that they can they can see transactions occur and, and actually replicate the code because basically what that is when you're swiping the card is a series of numbers and letters and this code that kind of like goes to the third party, the cybersecurity that kind of like gets this with your bank and this communication happens and then your transaction goes through. So there's always a cybersecurity measure when you are swiping your card. In fact, the very swiping POS system is probably from a company that is uh, connected to cybersecurity that, that your grocery store uh, works with so that they don't have to worry about money being stolen. Okay, there was a big target uh, hack, you know, and there's hacks all the time with this. And, and, the, and there's like these ransom uh, ransom hacks where they hack companies and demand ransoms and things like that. So it's it's almost next to right or it, it is impossible to do that to Bitcoin as the world since 2009 has been doing everything that they can to ch sit there and hack Bitcoin. You, it, it, it's like absolutely impossible. Why do I say that? Well, because when you're trying to uh, uh, take advantage of a transaction, right? When you're an adversary coming into a transaction, like I'm sending money to Bob, I'm going to have to, as an adversary, replicate the entire code or the entire 
chain of blocks since from 2009 and get ahead of that such so so that I could replicate it, duplicate the transaction or whatever, and, and then steal that money into my account before it gets confirmed on the blockchain. It's all to say that it's impossible. Bitcoin has not been breached since its inception because this technology is something that human beings have been trying to figure out for a very long time.